Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today I'm going to show you two techniques to correct distortion in our photos. And the first technique is going to use the Distort tool. And I use this most of the time with my images. It's very quick, very easy and very clean. And we're going to use it here to straighten up these vertical lines here. To use this function, we first must go to View and make sure our rulers are selected. Then we have to zoom out just a little bit. Now I press Command and T or Control and T on a PC and I right click on the image and choose Distort. Now I grab one of the corners and just pull them along and we're trying to line up this line with the side of our image so it's nice and straight. To check this we can bring our ruler out and just put it to the side and that looks pretty straight to me. Then we go to the opposite corner and we drag this out until this line is level with the edge of the image here. And now we'll use the ruler again just to confirm and we can see that it is roughly in line with the side of the image. But this side has now moved very slightly so I'm just going to bring that in just a little bit. And that's it. So once we're ready we just press OK. I can hide the rulers by pressing Command and H or Control and H and fit the image to screen and now we have a nice straight image. Sometimes however we have slightly more complex scenes like the one here where we have a lot of barrel distortion and perspective distortion. So one tool we can use is the filter called Adaptive Wide Angle. Now I think this tool is far from perfect and with really complex scenes it starts to get a bit messy but sometimes it can be really useful. But I'm going to show you some techniques to use Adaptive Wide Angle to straighten your image nicely. The first thing I want you to do is just to make sure all of your settings are the same as mine. So we have the Constraint tool here, we have Correction on Auto and Scale isn't too important right now. Now with Adaptive Wide Angle we join up two separate points. So let's say we grab the corner of this pillow and I'm looking at the preview in the right hand corner. So we click on our point and drag it all the way along to the corresponding point on the opposite side of the image. And you'll see that adaptive wide angle kind of straightens up that area. And then we can do it again on another part and each time you can see that the line that we create kind of bends around the image and again straightens up that area. But I'm going to delete these and show you the best way to do this. Essentially we have to set up some true vertical and true horizontal points. When we set these true vertical and horizontal points the rest of the corrections will be done around them and no matter what happens those areas will remain completely straight. It sounds more complex than it is. We're going to do exactly what we just did before and I'm going to select this point here and I'm going to drag it all the way along to the corresponding point on the other side and I'm going to hold down shift and you'll see the color of the line changes from blue to yellow. Then I let go of my mouse button and now we have a yellow line going across our image from point to point and we're telling Photoshop this is a true straight horizontal line. Now I want to straighten up these areas here but I'm not going to draw a line up the turret instead I'm going to draw it all the way along and down through to the reflection as well. So we have some continuation. Otherwise it would straighten up the turret and the reflection would stay distorted. So I'm going to select the very top here and I'm going to hold down shift and now we have a pink line and I'm going to drag it down through the middle of the turret. And I'm going to make sure it's nice and straight. So there is our first vertical line. Now I'm going to do exactly the same along this one, all the way down, make sure it's nice and straight. There we go. We have to try and be as precise as possible with this. Now we have a line going across the image here on the bottom. So I'm not going to create any more vertical or horizontal lines. I'm just going to keep it simple with these three. And hopefully Photoshop can work out the rest for us. So I'm just going to drag it from point to point and let go. And that did a very good job. But now we can see we're starting to curve a little bit along here. So if I just click a point here to there, Photoshop will straighten it for us. 
and we'll do the same here as well and the same here as well and the same here as well and finally to finish this we can see the front of this building the front of the mosque is kind of bulbous so if we just select say this point here and we'll match it up with its corresponding point on the other side around about here that should straighten it up nicely and now we can just press ok once that's done we choose our crop tool and we have to crop our image we'll try and make it nice and symmetrical I'll just try and line this up so it's roughly equal to the one on the other side and I'll bring the crop down and press OK and now we have a corrected image we've lost information on the sides and that's always going to happen when you're shooting so wide but the easy way around it is just to shoot a panorama usually vertical panoramas would give us the best results so that is how I correct the distortion in my images like I say most of the time I just use the distort tool but sometimes I do use the adaptive wide angle filter I don't think it's great I think it's got a lot of potential but it still needs some improvement anyway I hope you found this useful and I look forward to sharing more tutorials with you next time